G'day champions, welcome back to the Lion Lawn. Uh, today we're doing a slightly different type of video. I'm not in the yard today, obviously, I'm in the car. I'm heading to uh, one of my favorite places in the world, Bunnings. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and get some warranty replacements for some of my Ryobi gear that I've got uh, in, the, in the shed. Some of you may remember from one of my most recent videos, uh, the 36 volt blower vac that I bought that I didn't really need, but I bought anyway. And, and I found a use for it, it was really good, but now it's just stopped working, it doesn't work. Um, no matter what battery I put in it, you pull the trigger and you get nothing. You need either the blower um, configuration or the vacuum configuration, it's, something's gone wrong with it. Uh, so I had a quick look to see if it was something obvious, but it's nothing that uh, my limited electrical knowledge can uh, decipher, so uh, I'll take it back to Bunnings and see if they can't uh, swap it for another one or give me some credit or something. Uh, and the other thing is I have a little 18 volt uh, personal fan that's one of their hybrid ones, so it's battery operated or you can plug it into an extension cord. Um, and it's great, I absolutely love it, I use it almost every day. Uh, but over the last few days the speed controller in it seems to be playing up, it'll, it'll go really slow, then it'll ramp right up, then it'll slow right down again, then it almost stops. And, so there's something screwy going on with that as well, which is unfortunate. Um, that's both when you plug it into the wall and on the battery, so there's something iffy going on there. Uh, but I always register my Ryobi gear with uh, the website, My Ryobi, or My Ryobi. Um, and you go into your toolbox section and you upload a copy of your receipt and you put the serial numbers in and all that jazz uh, and it registers the tool, keeps a copy of the receipt and generally uh, it increases your warranty by a couple of years so you go from three years to five years or something like that by registering it on the website so I've got all that done so hopefully, I mean they're both well within warranty period the, the fan's only 12 months old and the, the blower back's only the same um, and they, all, they both have five year warranty on them so uh, I've got a video of the fan playing up. I tried to film with the GoPro, but as you can imagine, the second I tried to film it for something other than just showing people um, for this video, it stopped work. Uh, it, it didn't do it. It just worked normally. So um, I'll uh, I'll try and insert the. I'll make sure I don't get t-boned by that truck. Um, I'll try and insert the video I have from my phone so you can see what I'm talking about with what it's doing. And I will go and see if I can't either, like I said, get some store credit or a refund or replacement or, or what they do. I don't know what they do, whether they um, just insist on a like for like or whether they give you a credit, I don't know. So I've never done it before with a, a warranty repair or replacement for Ryobi, so I don't know what the process is, but I'm gonna go and find out. Uh, I won't film going into Bunnings because people don't like being filmed and I feel a bit dorky doing it. Uh, so I'll, uh, go in there and uh, I'm nearly there now so I'll go in and see how I go try my luck and see what happens and I'll let you know all right I'll be back in a minute do -do 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 -do. Bunnings Warehouse yeah boy a few moments later okay back in the car a semi-successful trip <laughs> uh, so two things to remember when you're doing a, a Ryobi um, registering a Ryobi tool through their website. They ask you to take a photo of the receipt and upload it. Make sure the barcode's in the photo. You think that'd be uh, pretty self-explanatory, but not for people like me. So one of the tools I had didn't have the barcode in it, which caused a bit of a eye rolly, like, we gotta do it the old way sort of thing. So anyway, but relatively painless activity. Um, they didn't have the fan in stock they had the, the tool only but not the uh, not the the battery kit that i got it with so um the only one on the shelf that they had of the skin only looked like it had already been opened and re-sticky taped shut so i didn't want that because who knows what's wrong with that so they just refunded me the fan which came with the battery and charger so i'm now going to head over to another bunnings which is just up the road and see if they've got that in stock and i'll just buy it again uh and with the blower vac um they were happy to exchange or do whatever with that uh, so i upgraded to a whisper series brushless 36 volt jet blower because i as you may remember i don't really have a need for the vacuum like i thought i would uh, but it's always good to have a blower and my 18 volt blower is still going strong but everything that i'm doing now is moving into 36 volt stuff so i will do an unbox and review of the 36 volt whisper series brushless 
730 CFM HP jet blower uh, when I get home. Uh, but for now, I'm going to head to Bunnings number two to see if I can find a new fan. All right, let's stop looking like a crazy person talking to myself in the car park and look like a crazy person talking to myself while I drive instead. Uh, so this Bunnings was pretty good. I, uh, I couldn't fault them. As soon as I walked in, I just I didn't take the tools in with me straight away. I just said, oh, look, can I talk to someone about a Ryobi uh, warranty thing? What do I need to do? And she's like, have you got it? Yeah, um, go and get it and we'll, we'll test it. One of the blokes came out and tested the blower and yeah, sure enough, it didn't work. Um, typically, the fan worked perfectly when they tried to um, test it, but luckily I had the small clip on my phone, so I showed them, they were happy with that. Uh, but yeah, I did ask them, you know, when you buy something as a kit, as in with a battery and charger, um, you do need to bring that battery and that charger back as well. So, I mean, you register them all, so you've got the serial numbers of them all when you do it. Um, but if you're like me and you've got sort of 15 different Ryobi batteries and four or five different chargers on the bench, you've got to sift through and find which one matches up to that purchase and make sure you take that back, which luckily I've done beforehand. So, I'm now, for the time being, down a two amp hour battery and charger and a charger uh, but that's all right hopefully this other Bunnings will have one in stock and I can just pretend like this bit never happened all right I'll head over there do, 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 do. Bunnings warehouse more moments later <laughs> Successful trip. Ooh, that's a bit wonky. Successful trip. Just hanging out with two of the Lion Lion's newest fans. One. Ah, and two. Because, of course, I bought something I didn't need. That's just how I roll. So they didn't have the 18 volt hybrid fan kit that I just returned to the other Bunnings but they did have brand new ones in the box that are tool only, so they don't have the um, battery and charger. So, I mean, it was cheaper, obviously, like 39 or $49 cheaper or whatever, but on the shelf, they then had this little itty bitty one that has a clamp on it with a battery and charger for $99. So, you know, why not? <laughs> So a mate of mine sent me a video or a photo of him using his one of these the other day clamped to his mower handle, like pushing the mower and cooling himself off while he mowed, so I'm sure I'll be doing that soon for no reason other than the fact that someone else has done it, I think it's funny. Uh, and then I got my hybrid one which I use for camping and hanging around at home and all that sort of stuff, so essentially I left home with a blower vac and a fan, battery and charger, and I'm heading home with a blower, two fans and a battery and charger and it's cost me an additional $39 or something. So, um, you know, I got another tool for $39 odd dollars. Something else to register with my receipt with the barcode on it because you've got to have the barcode on it. But realistically, it's a relatively painless exercise doing a warranty replacement for Ryobi gear at Bunnings. They're pretty good. Um, they came and tested it and made sure it was you know um not working because i'm sure there's people that come in there just change their mind and want to swap stuff over so they tested it and the second they saw that it wasn't working and i showed them the video of the fan not working they were happy to just refund the money replace like for like or replace for stuff of the same value so two thumbs up for that good job ryobi good job bunnings so now i'm gonna go home and find somewhere to put all that cardboard that i've just created for myself good thing it's recycling week all right, let's head home. Okay, I'm back home. I'm in the garage, so hopefully the echo isn't too bad. But it's bucketing down with rain out there. My shed's a mess, so to get everything out of there, to make room for me to do this, all the stuff that's in there, I have to be out in the rain. So I have to make do with in the shed with the roller door today. Um, just a quick recap. Um, I had some Ryobi stuff that was busted. I took it straight to Bunnings. Hassle-free warranty exchange. So the takeaway is 
when you buy Ryobi gear, definitely create an account on the Ryobi website, um, open up a My Toolbox, put all the things you buy in there, register their um, serial numbers, take a photo of the receipt with the barcode included and upload that so that the warranty is just seamless and easy. This was really easy. Um, the fact they didn't have this one in stock made it a bit trickier, but they just refunded me the value. Uh, I went to another place and bought, I went to another Bunnings and, and bought it elsewhere. So anyway, so let's have a real quick look at what I've got and I'll do a proper review of this bad boy later on in the week. Ironically, I've just mowed up all the leaves out the front so I don't need to use it this week, but next week no doubt I will. So, okay, so a tube and a rubber nozzle and this is the size of the thing. It was quite hefty, quite a good looking size bit of gear. This one came without a battery charge stuff, so you get the uh, instruction booklet. I'm sure I'll need that at some point, but not today. Snozzle slides all the way over, and you know, sure, clicks in. How does that easy assembly? Now I can put this rubber squishy nozzle on it, like that. Click my 36 volt. This is a fresh 4 amp hour, and this is the Whisper Series blower, so it's actually not, it's quite heavy, but it's, like, it's not terrible, but, uh, all right, let's pull the trigger and see what happens. Not much whispery about it, but uh, compared to some of the other models, I'm sure it's quieter. What do we got here, turbo mode. So, from here, that just blew me, uh, <laughs> my Bowden's Australia sign off the window. So, whoops! <laughs> Not to worry. Alright, well, now I'll move my camera, make sure I'm right. Alright, so that seems pretty cool. It's got the uh, cruise control levers. So... Oh, that's going to buy itself off the table. Check that out. Got some grunt. That's excellent. That I put my hat. That's made by Dave. That's great. All right. Replacement hybrid fan. And the hybrid fans. You can throw a 18 volt battery in them, or plug an extension cord into the back of it and run it permanently off your extension cord. I had one of these. This is one I replaced. We hang it in our tent. Like that, off the back wall of the tent to keep the airflow going. We use it, it runs all night on one uh, two amp hour battery. It uses one of the four bars of battery between like 11 pm and 5 am, so that's pretty good economy. Nice and quiet on the low mode. Works good on the high mode, so I love this thing. This is now my second one, obviously, um, and I will use it most days um, for various bits and pieces. I use it down in the gym, um, and I use it if it's a hot day, we're going to put the aircon on. I like to just have the air moving, so we just sort of have that in the lounge room. Very good, happy, happy, happy. And then lastly, this new guy, what do they call this? A compact fan, compact fan. And this is a kit, this came with a 18 volt charger, and, 18 volt battery, which is a 2 amp hour in the new style, so that's always cool. And then this little guy, instruction manual in the box, which I'm sure I'll need at some point. It's got a little um, clamp for you to clamp it on stuff. Uh, has this got any juice in it? Oh, you know what? I'm a big fan of charging the batteries before you use them, so I'll pinch this one. Alright, it's got two settings. Slow setting. And fast setting. Now, I can maybe... A little rubber 
Stop in the end point. Clear. Yeah, right. There's the button. Great. So, I'll well, hopefully <laughs> be able to swivel that thing again. Okay? Swivel that. So it swivels that way, all the way around, and that way, all the way over. And all the way back. So I could have that like that. Pushing my mower, it's on the handles, you can just see it now catching on the hot summer day, no more, no more map walking up to the camera and going, whoa, it's hot. Because I'll be nice and cool because of my new fit in. So alright. Those are the three new priorities that live in my house as of today. Um, I hope that was uh, worthwhile for you watching. Um, I just thought I'd test out how the um, warranty system for Riyadi works through Bunnings and like I keep saying, I've said a couple of times now, painless, easy, very impressed. Uh, so yeah, that was cool. Alright, that'll do. If, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. We're zooming towards 700 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Um, I'd like to see a thousand by the end of this year, maybe. Um, so heading towards 700 is my next goal. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on the line model.